Alright. Count it down. Uh, three, two, one, go. Alright, so we get to start off with this nice little uh, level. It's just an auto scroller, and you can either kill people or not, but our goal is to get uh, between like five to ten perfect kills for the experience for later in the game. I never learned how to count, so I just kind of go by feel at this point. Mm -hmm. Whatever, you know, whatever feels good. And it makes more, runs more fun. Are you going to get to level 4 by the end of the troll level? Uh -huh. So I got what I feel like is the right amount of kills. It was nine, uh, and now I'm just waiting for this level to end. I think it ticks over at like 257. No, that... <sighs> He's my friend. You know, I keep rooting for him to survive, but he never makes it. You'd think he'd learn. I think he's supposed to be, like, shot with an arrow and then falls over. Or he had a really bad heart attack. I mean, if... Honestly, if I was in the middle of a battle like 50-50 on the heart attack front. Uh, the sulfur. Yeah, you're right. I was into the level, by the way. You know, we just wait for this little cutscene, and then we're gonna jump right into the next level. Don't save. Don't save. <laughs> Oh, I did it. <laughs> How many times did you pick uh, Aragorn instead of Legolas? They seek the ring bearer. Stay close. Frodo, keep away from them. Help! They're everywhere. It's six.
This land has changed. Yeah, and strangely enough, I use the uh, GameCube's D-pad because I'm a monster. We've had no word from Mora in yeah. many years. Absolutely. Yeah, I kept it a secret for a long time. I felt like now was an appropriate time to tell you. Hey, well, I'm really, I'm scared I'm gonna go left or right with the control stick, and I know I can definitely hit down and up when I need to. No. Just, I'm scared that if I'm actually using the control stick, I'm gonna accidentally hit right or left. Also, that was awful. Uh, this, we're in the next level, by the way. Uh, this... This level, your goal is to not kill anybody and just run by, because you don't have to kill anybody for this level except for the last person. Uh, I say person, it's a giant octopus monster. Uh, yeah, it has feelings too. I mean, I'm gonna kill it, but it has feelings. Um, they don't... They don't despawn. Yeah, they... So, if you uh, get to the end of the level and then you get swarmed, you get swarmed by every enemy in the level, which most of the time is a reset. But I did it fine. Yeah, I had one... It's the that very end part is always what makes me nervous. Uh, very simple boss fight: parry the attacks, cut off a leg, shoot him in the face, repeat. We all have different strategies for doing it. Uh, I don't know, probably, because we don't have an official strategy. That's true. Just don't get hit forehead. That's true. I... Yeah! This is the I'm Lord very proud of myself. Of Lord of Moria. Or you can be me and refuse to go on if you don't get less than a 40 second fight because... It's it hurts. It makes my toes feel bad. That's why I got athletes, but Ugh. Yeah, did you figure that out by just sitting down and going that just makes sense? Of course. I mean, it is it is the best level in the game, so I understand. Ew. I think, I think the reason is, because we haven't really discussed this, I think it's just that it lets uh, enemies into the room, and you actually get to get through more waves faster. Uh, and when you stand close to the door, they do that weird pile-up thing, and they just don't go through the door. Oh, then I'm wrong. Oh, uh, I don't know. Steal 
He's m mean. I got my charge attack, I got a little health upgrade, and rising attack, which is very important for this level, because it introduces a new type of attack. You can see it anytime a, an enemy swings and they have like a red glow on their blade, uh, that'll knock you down. Uh, but if you have rising attack, if you do get knocked down, you can press A to get back up again, and they will never keep you down. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. I failed this level all the time as a kid because Frodo died. I have no idea. I... I didn't <laughs> for a long time. Just on principle. Uh, I also uh, don't know if I knew about combos as a kid. I, I think I was just dumb. I think that's where we can just leave that, because I don't know for sure. Uh, I have my red tunic on. It's fine. You've never seen me and Link in the same room, have you? Also, are you talking about Zelda, the main character of The Legend of Zelda? It's it's his legend. Yeah, this was a bad choice. I, I... 
this is kind of the vibe because I don't I don't know if I'm gonna PV this and I really don't care. But it's it, his dying animation at the end. It takes like five or six seconds longer when you don't hit t kill him on the statue. <laughs> okay. I mean, are they chocolate chip waffles? All right. Well, she fixed her mistake, so. They came this way. Come. That's all uh, my brother used to eat before school, was just uh, toasted chocolate chip waffles. Yeah, and so... It, it, it all depends on the horde fight. big shots and we get this nice mid-level cutscene mm, there it's a sarlacc it's a it has to be what else lives in a hole in the ground and tears people apart it's a bunch of hobbits mm, that makes sense. I never trust them never trust anything with hairier feet than me that's what I, my mama said She wasn't a very trusting per person. She shaved her feet every day. What you... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, you saw me jump backwards there. Uh, the water gets slightly too deep right there, and uh, it slows da down Aragorn, so we just kind of back hop to go faster. He got. He gets confused. He heard hop and goes up instead of out. And, you know. Just can't have that. Yeah. But, uh, you know, could be Gimli. Could be worse. That's. Yeah. Clean up. I, that was my biggest run killer, I think, when I first started running this game. And we learned this not too long ago. We can actually get into perfect mode off of these trolls and kill them faster. We used to uh, just pray that they would be standing close together for one for two Ranger Furies. Uh, but we got some three Ranger Furies, but we got some nice XP, and I'm not hitting level six. So this is going to be fun. Our goal. There's something out there. What do you see, Legolas? The White Wizard. Saruman.
hit as your sword hits the ground. If you jump back, you will not be getting hit by the troll's swing, which then allows you to easily reposition and do it again without having your damage meter go down. Hey, quick question. Are you uh, pro uh, streaming your audio? Or am I supposed to be doing that? Oh, you should be doing that. Whoops. Has it not been keeping me up this whole time? No. We must save everyone that we can. Hey, uh, I'm not just talking to myself. Sojalex is here. I totally didn't turn on the audio for him. So, uh, welcome. 20 minutes late, but we're here. Nothing like... Okay. You must press on. Whoops. I'm... Whoops. I probably should have... Oh, hey, you know that after you break the barrel, you can just... Right? Yep, that's why I got that XP. I changed it, my route, so I uh, still get that... Uh... Is it the XP pick up there? Yep. Bruh, didn't even know that. I've shown that to you multiple times. And you say this every time. It's like you've never... It's never been needed for me. Yeah, but since, you know, we're not going and waiting around the counter. Yeah. So that was a... That's our most recent discovery that we found by... That was found by a runner named Caladair. And normally what we would do is we would free those prisoner... Uh, those villagers. Prisoners, wow. We'd run around the counter and grab an EXP pickup and then wait for the cutscene. But if you just run out of the building, it goes right to the cutscene. I don't know why we never did that before and never thought about doing that. Well, we were so concerned about that XP. That's true. Because uh, before, it, EXP, like when you're just starting out, it's really hard to hit the EXP thresholds that you need to hit. But when you get better and you don't... Uh, you understand the combos more, you understand now the parry that the parry button is very much a thing you need to use. Uh, and you understand just how to get into perfect mode more, which gets you more EXP. Um, excuse me, it makes that EXP pickup obsolete. Hey, Gandalf, you had one job. This was an awful fight. Yeah, that fight's just miserable. Like, this level, the main, like, there, it's hard to really notice it too much when you're watching the run. Unless the fight goes really, really poorly. But, Rylan and I get to the point where a fight loses, like, two or three seconds, and we're like, that fight was terrible. Because it's really easy for fights to get out of hand, but when they go exactly as they're supposed to, they feel so good. Yeah, and more than likely your PB has like the super clean fights in it, and then you don't get those all the time, and it just makes you feel worse. You hardly ever get those. Yeah. But that's what PB grinding is. Something I thought about when I was looking at speedrun.com Riley recently is within the last four, well, when did you start running? In 2019, or did you start in 2020? Uh, it was it was 2019, I think, like December. It says on my page. Okay, so in the last three years at least, we've gone from 4954, thinking that that was going to be the perfect run, to 4757 now. Is the record. That's crazy. Yeah. Like. And it hasn't even really, like, a lot... It's not even really that a lot of the run has changed. We had some strat overhauls recently, I but... Before, it, but like, you could like still it. pretty easily, consistently get a 50 with the strats that we had beforehand. But then we just made, like, small adjustments to a lot of... To, like, every single fight. And that's what made the 47 possible, and even potentially a 46. <sighs> Maybe one day. I, I think it's possible because I had a 46-35 best possible time going into my going into breached wall. Oh, and you blew it all away. I don't think that worked. Oh no, he's came up. That's the sad part is I still had a really good. That should slow them. It yeah, it's it's just so variable. It's just a big open area. If it were any smaller. Yeah. Anyway, this is what? Westfold? That's where we're at? Westfold, yep. Uh, things explode. Yeah, you can just kind of walk through them after the first one. Yeah, and it's pretty easy. It gets pretty easy to die here 
which is why for new runners we recommend that they buy more health upgrades uh, because a lot of times you're not as familiar with how the, you can't react to the AI as well, so you're getting battered by the AI as well as getting blown up a bunch. Um, or, you know, they just blow up as soon as you come out of a cutscene. Yeah. But when you get better at the game, typically you're able to get through the entirety of the run with only one health upgrade. It is possible to do it without getting any of them, but it is really, really, really hard. I cannot tell you how many runs I have lost in West Bolt when running no upgrades. Uh, um, I, I mean, I've lost at least six. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, seven. Seven. I lost one the other day. Man, it was a real blow. Yeah, it's pathetic. So, uh, what, uh, Ryland did in that entire last section is when you use your charge attack as a character, you're invulnerable. And so we can abuse that by using that charge attack, uh, and then it blows up the sappers without taking any damage right there in the river, uses that attack, blows up the sapper, it kills the shield guys, and then we can just progress without even having to worry about getting hit by anything that ended up being a really 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 clean those few of us able to everything else not that team. great the Their end though right. you know what die. a lot of times this run just comes down to the end of the game anyways my, my two practice runs actually uh i died there actually yeah bruh and on the trolls but fun fact if you died at the uh, in Fangor. You died to them? I d there, there was one enemy still there, so every time I tried to do my fierce attack, it knocked me out of it. Uh, I still don't know how to do the fast way here, so... So yeah, this is, uh, Gap of Rohan, the second shortest level in the run. The shortest is Weathertop. Ooh, if you like dogs, look away. Oh, yes, if you like dogs, please look away. Uh, <laughs> I killed dogs. So... <laughs> oh, and cover your ears. Shoot, my bad. Yeah, those dogs are dead. Um, so this is Sharku. Hi, Sharku. I have started to want to explain the strat and then put a piece of a waffle in my mouth. I, there's, a, there's a strat where you can, like, do that and then jump and then do that. You don't even do either of those things. <laughs> yeah, I don't actually know the strat. So, normally what the strat is, at least what the current strat is, is you move around them and use swift terror to get yourself into perfect. Swift terror with a jump attack cancel, with a jump back cancel to get yourself into perfect mode. Uh, but what Rylan is doing is, whoa, that's a new minute. What? I've told you so many times, watch me do that. And you have never done it. <laughs> you must have changed it recently. No, not one time. I swear you were doing something. No, different. not one thing was different. You can stand in those spots, and one you don't even get hit, and the other one he doesn't even move. I, I, oh man. There are enough for us both, Gilly. While you're processing that, welcome to uh, Deeping Wall. It's eight minutes where I kick a ladder. Yep, that's literally it. You remember all that fun we were having running around on the planes? Ha, ah, eight minutes, kicking ladders. Yeah, it's a very, it, this is the unfortunate, the only unfortunate thing about this run is it is very, very, very fast paced from the beginning for the entire first 30 minutes. Like we only have three levels left in the run and you're like, okay, there's three levels left. You've just done like eight in the span of 30 minutes, how can there be still about 25, 20 minutes left in the run? Well, that's because these are really, really long levels, and this first one is 8 minutes of running around and kicking down ladders. So the way this level is supposed to work is uh, they put up ladders and enemies jump on the wall. And you can see that bar uh, right under the little map in the top right. If that fills up all the way and stays uh, full for too long, you just lose. But if you kick ladders, uh, enemies can't get up here, and you, you win if you survive. 
uh, what we do is we just kill, uh, we just knock down ladders and let everybody else kill. Uh, that does two things. One, it doesn't let uh, more enemies jump onto the wall because we're kicking the ladders. Also, uh, we're not killing. So at the end, we won't have any uh, like XP, you know, that screen that's popped up at the end of every level. Uh, that'll just fly by because we don't kill anybody. Yeah, and you'll definitely see the comparison at the end of the next level breach wall when we have to kill literally everybody. Um, that result screen takes a long time. So yeah, uh, in case you guys were curious and you enjoyed watching this run so far, or you just are thinking, hey, this racing thing sounds like fun, I love racing, check us out on Discord. We would love to have people come in and learn the run. I'm sure there are things that we haven't even discovered yet that are gonna be super fast uh, that uh, anybody who discovers deeping wall skip, uh, kiss on the lips from yours truly. I was gonna say a hundred bucks, but you know, if you want to, if, if I, you want to kiss from Ryland, skip this level. I I'm giving something priceless. Not many people can say that they kiss me on the lips. <laughs> you become a That's part of an elite group. Uh, you get also with that kiss on the lips one free month of therapy and you get to join a support group of people i've kissed on facebook why am i not surprised if that exists well after the third call crying i figured i might as well just put them all together you think, let you them know, maybe you should do something about your kissing techniques no why why not I think it's fine. I, what, you you don't suck the bottom lip and bite it really hard? No, no, that's too much. Nope, not, nope, 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 that's too far. Oh, we're gonna stop there. It's only painful for a second. Anyway, uh, the biggest thing about this... This, this is what this level devolves into, because you can only kick so many ladders and talk about it. Uh, the yeah, big... I think uh, we counted it, and it's about 200 ladders that you kick over the span of the eight minutes. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, the biggest threat of this level is the enemies gradually become harder, and uh, there's a couple cutscenes uh, near the end where it'll show like a catapult, and it'll start firing. If you get hit with a catapult shot, one hit kill. Thankfully, they're not, they don't hit randomly. They have assigned spots. But if you are prone to forgetfulness, uh, like I am, you just, you just forget and then you just randomly die and then you stop playing the game. Because. Yeah. Typically, when we lose a run here, we're just. That's the end of the night. That just, it doesn't matter if it's the first run of the day or if you've been going for hours. If you lose a run, do a cat about it. You're done. This is gonna, it's gonna happen to me. I'm so scared now. We've talked about it, and I no, I believe one hits like here, one hits here. Two. Maybe just all of them will be dead, and we can just <laughs> laugh about that because they'll all just bounce along the wall. That's also a thing too. Some catapults, when they fire, uh, they won't actually explode. They'll hit and they'll bounce, and they won't do anything. And they'll just be chilling. They're just this big flaming boulder. And then they just disappear. Yeah. So, um, speaking of boulders. The uh, boulder! The boulder, I would say, is a big rock, right? Like Dwayne. Go on. Yeah, and then an even bigger rock than a boulder is a mountain. Mm hmm. So you got, like, probably on the scale of rock sizes. You got pebbles, probably the smallest rock, right? Yeah. And, and the next step up on rock sizes is, I just call it a rock. But, like, a boulder is still a rock, and so is a mountain. A mountain is still a rock. So it's like the whole, you know, squares and rectangles, squares thingy and jiggy. Every square is a rectangle, but not every rectangle is a square, that thing. But, you know, instead, like, every boulder is a rock, but not every rock is a boulder. Where is this, where is this going? It's very elaborate. That's it. 
That's it. Every okay. rock is a boulder, but or no, every boulder is a rock, but not every rock is a boulder. That is all. Okay. <laughs> that is I was... the any percent. That is the run description for the any percent world for Lego Star Wars: The Complete Saga. <laughs> <laughs> <Shout -outs to> <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's where the catapult hits. Oh, see, I would, I would, I would have been dead right there. Woo! Wouldn't have been, would have been close. Ooh, okay, sorry. I was, I, I knew it was a joke. I knew we were going somewhere. It, it caused me physical pain because I could not find the punchline in there, and that makes me so happy. <laughs> so yeah, if you if you want this all the time, join us for races. Uh, we actually do have a community event coming up in October, where because uh, this game turns 20 years old in October, uh, and so oh, at no. the end of October we will be doing a community all characters race, which is going to be an absolute chaotic mess. It's like four yeah, hours, right? Yeah, and the all characters world record is four hours, eight minutes, and something seconds. I don't know exactly how many. Oh, there's the Doug catapult. I had to kill a person because... I, oh. I see your meter. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, but like, this would be funnier than dying to a catapult. Okay, that was the end of the level. Woo! So if you want to be chilling in a long and a long race of this game, where yeah, we do the, with the route that we do, we do this level three Why times in a row. So then it is level. 30 minutes of kicking down ladders. And then after that, you have to do the secret character at the end of the run. So you have to do it again. But at least at that point, when you're doing a seal door, you saved. That's one. You nerd. Yeah. Well, uh, I beat the level. I don't want to. I don't want to lose this. Okay. That's fair. Um, but at least with uh, a door, you play every other part of the game first, so it, it's more of just like another death. Like you just get this like release of energy when you hit a seal door because you go essentially back to the beginning of every other run because you have to complete tower of war tank first and so we routed it out to be faster to do tower of war tank as every other character and so we just do all four of the secret level of the extra level at the end of the run um or at, and like that part of the run we do it all at once and then we unlock a seal door and then we just sprint through a seal door section so you just get this massive burst of adrenaline by the time you hit that point and it just you just fly through the end of the run yeah this is this is breached uh I mean, this is the one where we just kill people but yeah. Uh, if you use sappers to explode other people, they don't count as kills, right? Correct. Yeah, so that is that is a potential, like, second saving strat. I don't know. It's not really it's not really practical, but it, it exists. It's it's there and it's possible, but it's really hard to do. I didn't kill a single one of those people, not one. I meant like I didn't put them on speeder.com. But they're on speeder.io, so I can see how much time they're Yeah, I had a 731 breached. Alright. In my PV, which is really good. Yes, it is. You know what's not good? This right now. I'm gonna turn it around right here. That was a good wave. I did it. See, if you speak it into the world, I don't know, something happens. All right, don't get cocky. That's my, yeah. Mm. Yep, you, you done cursed yourself. It's okay. Now we can show what this level is really like. Yeah, 
<laughs> All the pain. It seems nice and chill at the start, and then you just cry. And sometimes this level goes so well. Or, you know, this happens. Good year. I don't even know what happened. Wait, 1929? Isn't that when the stock market crashed and the Great Depression began? Maybe for your family. I don't know. I wasn't alive at that time. Oh my god. Strangely enough, neither was I. Weird. I'm also not a stock market mogul now, so... You know what? Maybe my family wasn't that great during the Depression. Who knows? 1929, though. Good time. Bad year, apparently. I worked... I worked this morning, and I did not get a nap before this, which I think is the, the true problem here. Uh, because I'm supposed to get a nap every day. It's part of my contract. What contract? The contract of life that we all signed before... Yeah, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Oh. Ah, your, your parents didn't make you sign, like, a contract that's like, hey, this is how I'm going to behave throughout my life, but this is what you get, like, a nap, and, uh, like, you always get Dr. Pepper delivered to your doorstep every week. No. Huh. Must be a southern thing. Uh, this is the end of the first wave, whenever those, uh, Orokai and that, uh, Berserker appears. And to get to the next wave, we have to kill the two Orokai, and then one more Berserker will spawn in just a second. Like, yeah, no, like a horde of archers come out, but they're really irrelevant. And... They're like that thing that everybody forgot about. That was weird. What? There was an elephant? Oh, irrelevant. Did you say elephant at one point? Yeah, the elephant that everybody forgot about. It was irrelevant. Uh. Hmm. hmm. See the look of disappointment on your face. Hmm. That's a five minute timeout right there. Uh. We just. <laughs> We just killed that troll, and uh, now we wait for its body to decompose so that they can bring out this catapult. Now, what's going to happen... No, it, you've got four minutes left. Uh, what's going to happen is there's just going to be a line of, a, of just a solid defense of people in front, and then the main dude is going to come at you and attack you. You can see on the catapult... I don't know if you can see. There's going to be three, like, panels on it, and that's where its health is, and those are the things you have to destroy. The easiest way to do it... Uh, is to get into perfect mode, which I'm going to try my best here to do, and use your uh, charge attack to destroy the panels. But uh, life doesn't really give you those kinds of opportunities all the time. So if all else fails, yeah, you just kind of make it up. And they like to, th and they like to throw, they like to throw fire and shoot you and ruin. Sometimes the fire, you can't actually see it. Yeah, they have special invisible fire. Or you and can just... You can stand there and get burned, but still not uh... Alright, give me the three, give me the three. Ooh, one shot, one that shot. didn't happen. Aww. There is a chance, we have no idea how it works, but you can hit all three of them in one swing, but it's extraordinarily rare. I've done it one time, I think. I have also done it one time. Yeah. And, but I have not done it 
since before we got Never the first 48. Uh, it, was, it was actually on a GDQ hotfix run is when it first happened. And it was after I was on a 48 paced run and then I died at this catapult. Oh, you and had to do the entire level over again. You did throw that away. I forgot about that. It was a great- I didn't throw it away. I got stun locked into an invisifier. Yeah, you really threw that away. That is not throwing it away. You keep your mouth shut. <laughs> it's alright, I still so have- here we are. We're going into the last level, Hornburg Courtyard. Uh, another level where a lot of runs go to die because it's chaos. Yeah, and it has a couple quirks that we kind of understand, but don't. Uh, there's multiple, like, how would you describe it? Like, kind of checkpoints in this level uh, that all just kind of happen. Uh, we think it has something to do with the amount of people killed, or maybe it's XP, or maybe it just draws a number we don't truly know uh but the first one is going to be uh we're going to help out legolas but first we just gotta kill an undes uh, undescribed amount of people and uh and we gotta just defeat uh protect this door not defeat it that's their job but yeah so we end this run by protecting two doors um, Actually, we protect a wall, and then we save a door, and then we save a door. The game could care less about our fellow soldiers, but it's the doors that matter. Yeah, but also, you know, after we save the doors, both times they, they get destroyed. Like, we, we don't win. No, the the breach wall door doesn't get destroyed, we run through it. Oh, do we? I don't think I've ever actually watched that cutscene. Yeah, no, that door doesn't get destroyed. All right, so Legolas is spawned, and I was gonna go for this cutscene skip trick that uh, it used to be really, really difficult when Ryland discovered that it was possible as Aragorn, but then another runner by the name of Katru made it consistent because it was something that we never thought about doing. So what Ryland's gonna be doing is he's gonna kill the captain, and then he's gonna kill this other Urukai, and then he's gonna leave this last one. For he killed that so fast. I still have time. I think no, I didn't make it. Oh my gosh! Yeah. So I've never seen Legolas kill it that fast. So what Rylan was supposed to do was run past this cutscene trigger, and he probably could have made it, but unfortunately, some of the enemies that were on the wall actually kind of cared about him, and normally they don't, which was super weird. They're watching the stream. They know. They know. So then, what Ryland then did is, uh, is he got, you know, getting stuck on the cutscene trigger. But we could skip it, uh, normally if that trigger goes away, uh, which saves about 15 seconds. So, the way it's supposed to work is, uh, I leave that one person for Legolas to kill, and he kills him after I get past the cutscene trigger. And it, we can just move on to the next segment without actually watching that cutscene. Which is really nice. Yeah, and you actually discovered that that cutscene skip was a thing when you were running Legolas, right? Yeah, it, it had so I think I shot him with the... No, I shot him with uh, his last arrow, which is fire. And then I ran away to see if uh, the cutscene would still play if I was past it. And it didn't. I was very proud of myself. One of the best things I've ever done in my life. That was a huge, huge discovery for this game. Uh, and then I would, I would, that was really one of the, yeah, that was, oh, sweet, I wasn't reading. Uh, that was really one of the first big, bigger changes that happened. I think that really sparked all of it. Because there wasn't many changes before, while I was running, before that happened. There really wasn't. There had, I think the newest discovery when you started was Lurt Statue Strat, and that was discovered when the world record was still at 15 minutes. Interesting. Nobody had discovered At least I started playing more aggressively. And that's where we started playing more aggressively, which lowered the time down. Uh, 
This is our last little phase before the final battle. It's just two trolls. We fought them four times. But uh, here, the goal, I think, is to kill berserkers. I yep. think that, yeah. That is the goal. And they do this really fun thing where they don't like to let you stand up. Also, where is all the other ones? There should be... There's literally, like, nobody there. It's yeah. So there... And this is what we're talking about with berserkers being annoying. Because when there's mobs of them, they can stun lock you. Because you have to try and play around them. But when you have, like, four of them trying to hit you at the same time, it becomes a lot more chaos. It becomes a lot more chaos versus having them. If you have only one, they're really Come easy on. to kill because you can just stagger them by parrying them and then use your charge attack to finish them off. Alright, he's too smart. Or you can get it where they just... Berserkers understand how the player functions, and so they will just stare at you and... Oh, please don't die. Please don't die. Please let me have this. Uh, the trolls should have spawned by now. Uh, the door is dying. There it is. That was whack. Alright, so time will be coming up here in just a little bit once these trolls are dead. And all it takes is just a rather of Time. Ugh. And we get this nice long cutscene. Fill it out. The only unskippable cutscene, FMV cutscene in the entire game. Yep. 5121. Not bad. Oh, you have to watch this like five times? Three times? Yes. Ugh. You have to watch it three times. Nuts. So, that's something we never actually explained. Um, this game has cutscenes directly from the movie. But on the GameCube version of this game, if you uh, complete a file and then you load that file and quit out and save, you can skip all of those cuts. The save is about 10 minutes in the world. And it just makes it significantly better for the Yeah. Because you don't, it's just, again, significantly more fast paced. Um, but this one, for some reason, it doesn't fall into that. I think that's something where it, we thought it was a glitch, but I actually don't think it's a glitch. I think it is uh, an actual like feature Sauron of the, um, the GameCube port, because the GameCube was ported but by a different company that had coming, originally developed the game. Advantage. I was delivered a uh, strawberry the... milkshake for winning. And that we should seek nice. To yeah. Well, you did. I mean, you, you did win. You finished under estimate, so that's a win. Yeah. So the weapon of the enemy is it's not bad for a week of practice. In the hands of a that's true. That is very true. To to the fires of so, Mando. does this mean you're going to start... Are you? Do you have time Sorry, to run now, or are no. you still really busy? I, uh, I will be working five days a week until school starts, and then I will be schooling every day. So, no. A long, long answer, no. Sad. Eh, it's alright. I had my time. You say that, yet I'm making Gimli strats. Don't. Don't. I already did. I made a, I made alert strat. I made a fallen soon troll strat. Yeah, but... Does he deserve it? Maybe? I need to. The Gimli World Record is the only one that I don't have on console. Yeah, let's keep it that way. You just want to have still one world record, even if it is Gimli. Yep. So, yeah, that was the two towers. Thanks for having me. That was fun. Yeah, do you have any shoutouts you want to do? Um... I think that's a solid no. But, you know, I'd like to thank everybody for sticking around. I appreciate that. And you for helping me with commentary. Yeah, of course. I would never... The only reason I would say no is if I literally couldn't because of something dumb. That's true, but I think you'd be there in spirit. Oh, 100%. Yeah. 100%. So, yeah, if you guys are interested in this game, please check it out. This... We've been running this game for a long time. We really love it when new runners come in. Um, 
So please come in, join our community, race with us, run with us, do a lot of different, well, yeah, r race and run with us because we'd love to hang out. This game is super fun if you're into action RPG speedruns. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. What's next? Do we know? Well, let's let our good old host, SC, tell us what we're doing next. Awesome. Well, next is the finale of the marathon. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.